Les dicen a mi gente que se vayan, que somos nosotros los que dañan, nada más que... At McClyman's High School in West Oakland, students are learning about music. But this after-school program is no place for a string section or a brass band. A dream of Matthew Mischeri, the Bay Unity Music Project, or BUMP, is hooking up youth from all over the East Bay with hip-hop industry professionals. It's a learning model based on real-life experience in an environment that puts its money where its mouth is. It's a way to let young people express themselves, but also get familiar with uh, technology. By trade, Matthew is a musician, producer, and recording engineer. What? What? That's quarter note, right? He was working as a substitute Spanish teacher at McClyman's when he realized there was no music program. We started in a classroom here with about four or five computers and just kind of working after school, I was volunteering my time. Yo, the music's for the hub, bring the DJs to the projects. Matthew connected with Ken Akita, the director of Youth Sounds, a media organization that had brought a video program to McClyman's High School. And it seemed like a real natural fit to do digital media and do mu both music and video. And luckily through that connection, we were able to kind of start some fundraising and um, create a real program. We're gonna put a delay and a reverb on her vocal track. I think it can be important uh, job development. We're definitely not trying to create rap stars or you know pop stars. This isn't American Idol. It's, uh, we really wanna um, treat this as like a real job. In addition to teaching engineering, Bump provides workshops to develop emceeing skills. The car, I never been a thug. Seems like I had fruit punch. Yo, my growth never stunk. MC Dudat from the attic heads up the exercises. I guess a MC's workshop is is the circle, is the cipher. You know what I mean? And so that's where you come and you show off either your written rhymes or you show off your freestyle ability or you show off your beatboxing ability. And the object is just to get it in the rhyme, you know what I mean? Just have fun with it. Don't try to do nothing complicated. You can do it. To be able to cipher well, um, it builds your improvisation. You know, being able to improv like on the spot. Don't know what to say, but I do it just like rain when it comes at the concrete. When you're freestyling, it's kind of like walking in your mind. So while you're talking, you have to be able to think, you know what I mean? So while I'm saying cat, I have to be thinking hat. And while I'm saying hat, I have to be thinking bat. So sometimes when your mind is empty, you have to look around like, okay, what can I use? And the flashcards, it, it kind of, it's kind of like conditioning. Looking at me, you know, how this crazy black girl can go. I got the wisdom of my ancestors running through me. I make it hot like Chinese cooking chop suey. I share my birthday with Langston Hughes, a great man. I shake my butt to remind me I'm an African. No. Their, pre their presentation is tight, you know what I mean? And what they're saying is on point, too. It's clever, you know what I mean? Clever even to the point where I'm like, man, how come I didn't think of that? Blue metal, I'm not gonna get mad. They call me Phil Mellow. I got real boys, not fakes like the pedal. Don't embezzle, I'm a rebel. Stay cool with my fellows. I'm striving. One thing that's pretty obvious is that a lot of the music that you hear on the radio is lyrically is pretty one dimensional. You know, and a lot of times I think you would say it's the lowest common denominator for people. It's usually just about sex or money or violence. And that has been really great with kind of getting them to explore other ways of looking at their community or, you know, their environment in general. All right, here we go. This one going out to my Latinos in the Bay Area. HR 44, 37, a law they're trying to pass. We have three uh, Latino guys in our group, and yeah, they just finished a song. It's called HR 4437. Making a living as an immigrant that stands in this plan. Republicans are out to get us banned, telling that we're felons. That was pretty organic. We didn't actually give them a writing prompt or we didn't tell them to write about that. That was something that they, it was important to them. And they kind of wrote the song around the same time when the immigration debate was really heating up. They want to build a wall so we don't cross. It's a fact, it's the law they want to pass. Yeah, I think it's important that the work that we do happens here um, in West Oakland and really demonstrate that given the resources and given the time, given the attention, that young people can succeed. I live right close to the school, actually, and, you know, driving around you know, you see the casualties of what happens if you don't support 
a community. And young people have to live with that every day. That's their environment. The participants of the program get a chance to record their own CDs on Bump's professional record label. Their latest CD is called True to Life Volume 2. The CD release concert is an opportunity for the musicians to celebrate their achievements while experiencing the pinnacle of any musical career, a live performance. There's the step from something sounding, you know, amateur to professional, um, that has been overcome. And now you can create something that's professional in a home studio. And so it's great for them to see something, um, to create a product where they're like, oh wait, I can do that. All over the bay, give it up for Bump Records! I think the goal at Bump is, if you are interested in getting into the music industry, we are gonna get you as prepared as possible, as possible. And at the same time, my personal goal is to, to um, let you flourish as an artist, you know what I mean? Like, like, forget being a rapper, forget being an MC. What about being an artist? You know what I mean? What, a, what, a, what about doing something that um, hasn't been done? I get something every day from the young people that I'm here. You know, as a resident of West Oakland, um, contributing to the community, um, feels good, you know, I feel like it's something that everyone in every community should do in terms of being involved in your school, your local school, or community center, or whatever. So when I say, I stay solid in the town. Solid in the town! Stay solid in the town!